There are other ways that we can use encryption, some of which we'll get into much more detail as we enter our discussion in our next unit about networks. Wireless network encryption, email encryption, secure logins, VPN, and disk encryption are all ways that we can implement encryption as part of our security plan. And, as detailed as encryption may seem today, it is becoming more advanced than ever before. One of the emerging topics in this area of study is quantum cryptography. Quantum cryptography allows us to encrypt and decrypt information using photons. Although it's not required for the class, I've included an optional video by YouTube user Physics Girl that talks about quantum cryptography. So, as a review, there are a lot of different cryptographic tools that are important to our overall security toolbox. From symmetric to asymmetric encryption, to error detection and correction codes, all the way to digital signatures and certificates, all of these come into play to create the safety measures we employ on the internet and in modern computing today. Before we end this discussion on encryption, I just wanted to close with one related area of study known as steganography. Steganography is a method by which we hide secret information in plain sight. This is not a method of encryption, but rather it is an entirely different method for protecting information. Steganography is really interesting, especially in present day, because we can hide information within files like digital images without anyone's knowledge. This video will illustrate how steganography works.